Hello, my name is Jeff Peterson of Peterson Physical Therapy. I'm going to review a couple of uh, massage guns, some percussion massage guns. Mm -hmm. And we've selected these because we use them in the office and they're under $200. And if you uh, appreciate what we're sharing with you today, please like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share it with your friends. So we want to get started. Like I said, these are two guns that are under $200. These guns have become really popular. Several years ago, probably eight to ten years ago, we tried out a prototype of the massage gun and it was, a, it was probably an eight pound gun that was encased in, in stainless steel and you had to plug it in to use it. And it was really effective, but it was too expensive and it was too big and too bulky. And then years later, um, we started to see them come on the market and Theragun was probably the, the, the first one that came out. We don't use the Theragun, but I'm going to show you a couple of these. First of all, I want to talk about how does a percussion gun work? So there's very little research about it, but they always compare it to manual massage. And uh, if you remember the old movies where the, uh, the person would get the massage and the, the massage therapist would be doing the karate chop, that's part of that is the percussion. Um, but what's Im important to remember is that back in the day there was, you, you used to see these massages that would vibrate side to side. These massage guns, and I'm going to show you so you can see it, have a translation back and forth. So it's a percussion and I'll talk about the qualities of percussion, but the reason the percussion is more helpful is it penetrates the tissue deeper. And the way massage works, basically, and, and you can get a more in-depth discussion about this if you look at some of our earlier videos when we talk about pain, our nervous systems have two pathways, from the brain out to the environment, that's the efferent path pathway or the efferent pathway, and that's the motor control, and then the afferent pathway from the environment back to our brains. Well, if you bombard the body with high-intensity afferent stimulation, like a massage, lying on a hot pack, uh, getting in a jacuzzi, it has an inhibitory effect on the nervous system. And that's how these guns work. Uh, and they are, you know, there's not a lot of research on them, but they are very helpful and people like them, and you may have already used one yourself. So let's talk about the different models. So these are two, like I said, that we use. This is the second version of the MP, uh, the MP uh, Pro. What is this one called? This one is the Apove. MP3 Pro and this is the Recovery Fun Max. The Recovery Fun Max is about $169. The Apove is about $199. There are models that are less expensive and we'll be reviewing a couple of the less expensive ones in, in future videos. But let's just talk about these two for a second. So one of the things I like about the recovery fund is it has a removable battery. In the past when we've used these, and we're going to talk about this when we talk about use, if you hold the handle sometimes you can create torque at the intersection between the battery and the, and the device and that can create a short. So with the removable battery it's a little more stable and if you have an issue with the battery dying, they're all lithium batteries, you can pull it out and order a new battery. So that's kind of a nice feature. The other thing, uh, this one here has two modes. It has an auto mode and it has a manual mode. The auto mode fluctuates between the different speeds. Uh, this one only has a manual mode, so if you want to select the speed, you have to select it manually. And there's a button on the back. So each of them have a power button right on the bottom. And then you have the button here to select the speed. The different speeds are, um, where, is, where is the RPM? So the speeds on the recovery go from 1500 RPMs to 3200 RPMs. And there are five different speeds. So I want to just show you that. So you turn it on, and if you want to select a different speed, you can see here is the battery light indicator. It tells you how much battery you have. And these are the different speeds. So this is the different. This is the initial speed, and that's about 1,500. And it increases with each selection. 
and the max is 3200. So that's the loudest this one gets and the fastest that one goes. Now if we look at the Apove, we turn that one on, same area, and this is also where you charge the battery on each of them. And we're going to go on manual, so on the Apove, you turn it on and you can select off, manual, or auto. So we're going to select manual, and that's speed one. So you can see this one is a little bit louder. So this one has four speeds. When we're at, at the fourth speed, the RPMs on this one go from 2,000 to 3,300. So you don't have the lower end of 1,500. I'm going to turn that one off. And it is a little bit louder. They say this one goes from 55 to 65 decibels. This one is rated at 39 to 54 decibels, this Apove. But it is a little bit louder, and I think we use this one in the office. Sometimes they come with a, an added O-ring that you can replace. Sometimes as that starts to wear with use, it will get louder. So you might want to note, uh, take note of that. Uh, for home use, you're probably not going to use it as often, so that may not be an issue. The other things that we want to look at is the, the Apove has a 15-minute automatic timer. In manual, it'll stay on the speed that you select, and it will shut off after 15 minutes. The recovery fund has a 10-minute timer, so that'll shut off after about 10 minutes. Uh, they each come with different heads, so we'll look at the recovery fund, and the, and the, um, the heads are similar. Uh, the nice thing about both of these models is in the older models, they, they only had a couple different heads. So they all come with the ball. This is probably the one that we use the most. I'm going to do a completely separate video talking about which one you choose, uh, which attachment you choose, to, depending upon the area of the body that you're treating. But this would probably be the most popular one. But the nice thing about uh, these is they now come with an air-filled half circle, which is a lot more comfortable for certain areas. They each come with a flat head, which you can use for the IT band, etc. They have what's called the bullet head for trigger points, and then they have the, the fork that you can use for trigger points as well. And they all have, they each have, I'm going to double check that, make sure, they each have about the same heads. The only difference is the Apove comes with two different soft heads. And this is really nice. This one is super, super soft, and this one is not quite as soft. So that's nice. They've, I think they've kind of figured out that the soft heads are more comfortable and people desire those. The other thing is the, the battery. Uh, each of them have a 24 volt battery. Uh, the battery life is probably comparable, I would guess. Um, they each have a, I know this one, the recovery fun is 100 watt brushless motor. This one in the in the specifications, the Apove uh, M3 Pro says it's a brushless motor but it doesn't necessarily specify the wattage of the motor. The one thing I want to note is the motor, so I don't know what the wattage is on this motor, but what we've noticed on this one in particular is when you put it on and you're treating an area, if you, if you can hear the motor, how it's starting to lag a little bit, and if you push really hard in some areas, you can actually get it to stop. So it doesn't have enough torque to overcome the pressure if you're pushing too hard on a large area. Uh, with the recovery fund, that doesn't happen. You can push as hard as you want, and the motor's gonna keep, keep pumping. So no matter how hard I push, if you notice, it doesn't get louder. So the torque doesn't decrease on the recovery fund when you push harder. The other nice thing about the recovery fund is it weighs about two and a half pounds. I couldn't get a, the specs for the, what this weighs. This probably weighs about two pounds, so this is probably a half pound heavier. So that may be an issue if you're buying one for home, because it is a little bit heavier to hold. In the clinic, we like that because instead of having to push, sometimes I'll literally just rest it on a person and just put a little bit of pressure to get that compression so that uh, I 
honestly prefer a little bit of a heavier uh, gun. And when I do use it, I typically don't hold it on the battery because of our previous experience, but I will put a little pressure on the tissue as I move it. Uh, the other things that are really important, let me think, the, the translation. So we're looking at the translation of this. This one is rated at 13 millimeters of translation. This one is rated at 15 millimeters of translation. So the nice thing about that is it does penetrate into the tissue deeper. Uh, I've taken several and taught several courses and I was working with a woman who does soft tissue ultrasound and when we were looking at the looking at the penetration of the percussion and you can see the tissue uh, oscillating with the soft tissue ultrasound. So how does it work? The other way it works is mechanically with that translation is you do get some, some minor deformation of that tissue which will increase the circulation when you're using the massage gun. So not only is it inhibitory by stimulating the nervous system but it also helps you relax when you, um, by increasing the circulation. Okay, so which, which is uh, the one that we would prefer? Well, personally, and in the clinic, I prefer the recovery fund because it's a little bit heavier. It has a removable battery, should we need to replace the battery. And it's quieter. It's actually a little less expensive too. It's about $170 versus about $200. We still use this one in the clinic, but if this one's in use, then I'll choose the, the, um, the Apove M3. M3 Pro. Uh, but if this one's available, the recovery fund, I always I use this one. I also have one of these at home. So which one should you buy? Well, these two are, you know, right around $200. At home, if, depending upon your age and your strength, it might be better to get a lighter one, but I would encourage you to get the recovery fund. If, if, you, if the $200 uh, buy-in is not too expensive. Uh, there are several less expensive models that we have not used. We used to use one of the less expensive models when they first started coming out and we wore it out within a matter of weeks. Uh, but for home use it may not be an issue. But we're going to review those in a different video. But if, if you had to ask me which one to buy, I would buy the Recovery Fun percussion gun for home use. Uh, the other thing that comes with each of these is a user's manual and it, it, they have illustrations of trigger points and show areas that you can, you can use the gun on and uh, to be helpful. So if this is helpful, please like, subscribe, send in questions, um, share with your friends. Thank you.